Rosma Mansour, the wife of former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. The 70-year-old was found guilty of all three charges of seeking and receiving bribes of more than $14 million in exchange for government contracts. She'll also have to pay a fine of more than $200 million US dollars. Or Rosma had asked for one-day imprisonment on account of her contributions to Malaysia. She claimed she was framed by her former aide, as well as several government and company officials involved in the project. Razma also faces 17 charges of money laundering and tax evasion in a separate case. Now, Melissa Go joins us live now from Kuala Lumpur for the very latest. Uh, Mel, what's been the reaction from Razma now that the court has finally delivered its uh, sentence? You know, 70-year-old Rosma Manso, she was in tears earlier in the courtroom, choking as she appealed to Judge Zaini Mazlan for a lesser sentence after the verdict was read to her. Now, she said she was being victimised and framed by her former aide, Riza Manso, who is now the prosecution crown witness, insisting that, you know, it's selective uh, prosecution. What happened to uh, her can happen to anyone. Her husband, Najib Raza, has already been incarcerated and now they are doing the same to her, she said. Now, she also defended her record as former first lady, quote unquote, as exemplary. Now, she's helped, she said, to develop the early childhood education when she was the uh, Prime Minister's wife. Uh, she has contributed, she said, immensely to the country. Uh, for that, she hoped that the judge uh, will reduce her jail sentence to one day for all three offences to be run concurrently. But Judge um, Zaini has returned with 10-year jail sentence, and that's half the maximum jail term of 20 years, and a whopping fine of just over 200 million US dollars. And that's five times the amount of bribes that she's convicted of receiving and soliciting. Now, it's the largest in the country's history, apparently. Now, for Rosma, at one moment, she's in tears, seated in the dock. Next, she turned around and smiled to her daughter, Noriana. It's uh, simply baffling. Now, Rosma has just left the court complex. She's currently out on a two million ringgit uh, bail that's about just over 400 uh, thousand US dollars she didn't stop to the media she simply just waved yeah you mentioned that she's out on bail but um, are there any options on the table left for uh, Rosma well uh, her lawyer her lead counsel uh, Jagjit Singh said that they will be appealing against uh, today's sentence and conviction to the uh, Court of Appeal. They have 14 days to uh, file the appeal. They maintain that Judge Zaini is biased. The judgment was influenced by someone else. They said because of a leaked document that's said to be a draft judgment, they said. Now, earlier, the trial judge, in reading out excerpts of the judgment, said he wrote everything himself. He wasn't influenced. The defence, he said, has failed to cast doubt in the prosecution case. Simply because of that, all the defence did was bear denial devoid of credible evidence, all unsubstantiated. The defence only called two witnesses, Rosma, defended herself, and her former special officer. And that's about it. Now, she claimed that she hasn't received the money, all were pocketed by her special aide, um, Rizal Manso. Now, the judge didn't believe her. After all that, the judge has adjourned. And um, now, um, as far as the lead prosecutor, Gopal Sri Ram, he gave a news conference. He's a former judge. He said justice is served. The sentence and the verdict is a deterrent to everyone. All right, appreciate that report. Melissa Go there speaking to us live from Kuala Lumpur.